today on Cooking Regrets, Koala Tacos and Platypus Eucalyptus Ice Cream. Joe Biden's very own recipe before he became Prime Minister of Australia. This recipe is presented to you as written by Joe before he became a French chef in China. Hey folks, look, when I was a young Aboriginal native teaching boomerang carving in Austin, or wait, it wasn't Austria. Oh yeah, it was Australia. Well, I was right the first time. Where was I? Yes. My most favorite go-to food was koala tacos. No joke, man. Made from real koalas. You know, the fuzzy koala bears. You know, guy, right? I love smelling the fur. Anyway, uh, I would make homemade platypus ice cream. Wait, where was I? That funny little duck bill sticking right out of the top of the ice cream. Man, that always got me. Loved it. So look here. This is how you do it. You're gonna need 20 flour tortillas. I learned to make tortillas when I was studying the Mexican beaded lizards near the border of Canada and Guatemala. True story. Check it out. We ate them lizards too. I also made jewelry from the beads. One fresh koala. I used to hunt them with boomerangs that I made as a kid growing up in Japan. Just don't hit any walruses. You could really get hurt, or someone else could really get hurt, when it falls out of the giant saguaro cactus. One head of lettuce pieces. I grew my own when I was conducting a research study in that there Antarctica place. Four sliced or diced tomatoes. Boy, I can remember picking a ton of tomatoes. As a little whippersnapper on my daily walk from Colombia to Peru. No lie, Jack. Shredded cheddar cheese. My wife, Dr. Phil, makes the best authentic cheddar ever. It was created in Africa, you know. I know that because I taught English when I lived in Africa. I taught everyone there how to say good night, mate. Like my students, we all thought mate meant something else. And that's exactly what they did. Mate. Honest to God truth, pal. Uh, yeah, you'll need a gallon of any hot sauce. The authentic kind, from Russia. Not that fake stuff from Mexico. Come on, man, you know. One platypus. Hard to catch those little buggers. So I raised them with our chickens. No malarkey. True story. The smell reminds me of playing with the hair on my legs. You need a whole basket of eucalyptus leaves. Did you know eucalyptus was a native of Alaska? Oh yeah, I once taught basket weaving to Navy commandos on the B-52 I used to pilot. True. All right, man, let's get cooking. Prepare koala. I actually prepared my damn cat once. Then slice or chunk the meat, however you like it. Some fur on the meat is okay. Don't worry about it, buddy. Uh, put the koala and all the other junk on a tortilla. Load it up with hot sauce. That's all you have to do. Look, if you can't do that, you're a real dummy then. Listen to me. Now it's time for the best part. Dessert. But first, a nap. Okay, I'm awake now. Now stuff a fresh whole platypus and eucalyptus leaves in a blender. Not a light platypus, you stupid son of a... Then mix with heavy cream and 40 cups of sugar. Done. That's it, fella. Got that, Jack? I'd like to thank Joe for that wonderful recipe and the radiant, riveting description recipe or whatever the hell that was. But I really don't think I could bring myself to do that. I'm not sure this is a dish that I would ever prepare. But have at it. Let me know how it comes out. We'll tell Joe.